Hello, today I invite you to explore one of Manila's most enduring landmarks, the Manila Central Post Office. This iconic building is more than just a center of communication, it's a monument that encapsulates the rich tapestry of Philippine history, architecture, and culture. The Manila Central Post Office, completed in 1928, was designed by the distinguished Filipino architect Juan Arellano, along with Thomas Mapua and Ralph Dewan. It stands majestically by the Pasig River at the foot of Jones Bridge and has long been a symbol of Manila's central role in the nation's communication network. On November 24, 2018, the Manila Central Post Office was recognized as an important cultural property by the National Museum of the Philippines. In the early beginnings, postal services in the Philippines began in 1767 during the Spanish colonial period with the first service established in Manila to facilitate communication between the archipelago and the Spanish government. The Philippines became a territory to the United States after the Spanish-American War in 1898 and the postal system was modernized and expanded during this period. The Manila Central Post Office, a neoclassical structure, was constructed in 1926 by Filipino architect Juan Arellano and Ralph Duan, serving as a major landmark in Manila. During World War II, the Manila Central Post Office was heavily damaged during the Battle of Manila in 1945. After the war, the building was reconstructed in 1946, retaining much of its original design. The Philippine Postal Corporation was established as a government-owned and controlled corporation in 1992, replacing the Bureau of Post. Today, Manila Central Post Office remains as a central hub for the country's postal services, houses a postal museum, and has become a cultural and historical landmark in the city. The post office was conceived during the American colonial era, a time when the Philippines was modernizing under Western influence. Its construction marked Manila's transformation into a central hub for communication, linking the archipelago with the wider world. However, its history is also one of resilience. The building was severely damaged during World War II, particularly during the Battle of Manila in 1945. Yet. Like the resilient spirit of the Filipino people, it was rebuilt from the ashes and reopened in 1946, continuing its role as the heart of the Philippine Postal Service. The post-war restoration symbolizes the nation's determination to recover and rebuild, making the post office a living testament to the country's enduring spirit. Architecturally, the Manila Central Post Office is a masterpiece of neoclassical design. Its grand facade, adorned with tall Corinthian columns and an imposing pediment, reflects the ideals of order, stability, and strength. This style was chosen to convey the authority and permanence of the government during a time when the Philippines was emerging as a modern nation. Inside its spacious hallways, high ceilings, and ridiculous details evoke a sense of openness and grandeur. The neoclassical elements also signify the Philippines' connection to global architectural trends of the time, while the building's enduring presence represents the fusion of tradition and modernity. The post office's iconic status also makes it a cultural landmark. Its image is ingrained in the collective memory of the Filipinos representing Manila's rich history and the nation's continuous journey toward progress. Culturally, the Manila Central Post Office is more than just a building. It is a symbol of communication and a landmark in the heart of Manila. For decades, it has served as the main point of connection for Filipinos linking communities across the islands in the world. It has witnessed the evolution of communication, from handwritten letters to digital messages, yet remains a vital institution in the country. Moving forward to its physical description, Manila Central Post Office 
is a timeless symbol of Manila's rich architectural heritage. Located in the heart of the city along the Pasig River, this iconic building was completed in 1926 and is a prime example of neoclassical architecture. With its emphasis on symmetry, grandeur, and classical elements like columns and pediments, the post office reflects the elegance of this style. The building's design was a collaborative effort by American engineer Ralph Duane and renowned Filipino architects Juan M. Erliano and Tomas Papua. Together, they created a structure that not only serves a functional purpose but also embodies the aspirations of the nation. Moving on to the Manila Center Post Office architectural features, the most striking aspect is its facade, dominated by 14 towering ionic columns. These columns, with their fluted shafts and elegant scroll-like capitals, are quintessential elements of neoclassical design. The facade symmetry with its evenly spaced columns and prominent pediment creates a visually harmonious and aesthetically pleasing balance. Inside, the main postal hall is equally impressive. This spacious area boasts a high ceiling and large windows that allow natural light to flood the space, further enhancing its grandeur and warm atmosphere. The Manila Central Post Office interior is as impressive as its exterior. Flanking the Central Postal Hall are two large wings filled with offices, contributing to the building's vast scale and its rectangular shape. Spanning around 1.3 hectares, making it one of the city's largest structures. Inside, the grand staircase and spacious lobby stand out, exuding dignity and importance. The broad steps and ornate balustrades of the staircase lead visitors to the upper floors, highlighting the monumental scale of the building. Symbolically, the architecture reflects the Philippines' aspirations for modernization and its desire to connect with the world. As the focal point of the nation's postal network, the building embodies neoclassical principles of democracy and order. In May 2023, a devastating fire severely damaged the Manila Central Post Office, leaving it in serious disrepair. Once a proud symbol of Manila's neoclassical architectural legacy, the building now stands in ruins. The interiors, including the main postal hall, and several office spaces were completely destroyed, marking a tragic loss for the city's heritage. The Philippine government, working with heritage organizations, is spearheading the restoration of the Manila Central Post Office. The main focus is on stabilizing structure, especially the upper floors and roof. Scaffolding and protective coverings are in place to prevent further damage. The restoration will be a lengthy and complex process, aiming to rebuild and modernize the building while maintaining its historical integrity. Currently, public access is restricted and postal services are temporarily housed elsewhere. This effort underscores the challenges of preserving historic landmarks. The building's preservation strategies include structural reinforcement, historical restoration, cultural heritage designation, artifact preservation, adaptive reuse, and public awareness campaigns. Structural reinforcement mimics original design, historical restoration repairs fire damage, and a dedicated conservation lab maintains artifacts. Adaptive reuse allows the building to function as a modern museum and a postal facility, while public awareness campaigns raise community engagement in preservation efforts. For recommendations to prevent future fires, a comprehensive fire detection system should be installed throughout the building, including smoke detectors, heat sensors, and alarm systems. Regular maintenance and inspection of electrical wiring, fire suppression systems, and potential fire hazard should be conducted. Fire-resistant materials should be used during reconstruction, and an emergency response plan should be developed. Security measures should be increased to prevent unauthorized access. The Manila Central Post Office is a monument that embodies the historical, architectural, and cultural heritage of the Philippines. It is a building that has not only stood the test of time but has also played a vital role in shaping the nation's identity. 
As we reflect on its significance, let us remember that this land park is more than just bricks and mortar. It is a symbol of our shared history, resilience, and connection.